Hello everyone, and welcome to my Bachelor official YouTube channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribers button and give this video a thumbs up. After finishing second in the 2023 season of The Bachelorette, Joey instantly won over fans' hearts. But has he been able to find love? Who did Joey Graziadei from The Bachelor end up with? Reality Steve, a podcast host and blogger, claims that Joey made a proposal to competitor Daisy Kent. As with every season, there will be skepticism and mistrust, and participants will share things on social media to mislead supporters. Occurs in all seasons. This one is going to be the same. But this is what you'll witness on the final night. Towards the end of the season, Joey and Daisy got engaged in Tulum, Mexico, reality Steve posted on his blog. Since the final won't show until the middle of March, anything can happen during the course of the following four months. But that's how the season came to an end. I don't have any proof I can give, which is something I never do without giving credit to the sources, so here it is. Joey stated he had found love but fans will have to wait until the conclusion airs on March 25, 2024. The TV celebrity told Us Weekly that when he proposed to his future wife, he couldn't help but cry. He remarked, I can just tell you that you can see I'm very emotional on that day. I believe that day will be emotional, no matter what occurs. You'll just have to wait and find out why. What is Joey Grazia Day's age? Joey was born in Pennsylvania on May 24, 1995, and is currently 28 years old. Given his star sign of Gemini, he is most suited to be with Libras, Leos, Aquarians, and Aries. It remains to be seen, though, if his new love will be astrologically compatible. Joey Graziadi debuted on The Bachelor at when? In June 2023, Joey made an appearance on The Bachelor at during its 20th season. On August 21, the August 21 final revealed that Joey would be the star of The Bachelor's upcoming season. The Collegeville-based tennis pro and coach advanced to the final two, but Charity Lawson's decision to go with Dotano Lubico eliminated her in the final. Joey declared shortly afterward that he was prepared to find true love. It was just, you have to take some time to get a little more closure, he stated. Watching Doten and Charity's connection was enough for me. He went on to say that he was waiting for the right person to spend the rest of his life with because he understood what kind of relationship he wanted. Someone who is just themselves that I can truly be a partner with, he uttered. I'm looking for someone to push me. Someone I can confront is what I want. All I want is a life partner. I just want someone that's going to be my person. On season 28 of The Bachelor, Joey Graziadi is looking for his true love, and astrology says he would get along best with two contestants. Joey had an appearance in season 20 of The Bachelorette, where he went after Charity Lawson. Charity made it to the final two, but in the end, he decided to stay with Dota Nolubeko. Later, during the Bachelorette final, Joey was revealed as the star of The Bachelor season 28. Joey met 32 gorgeous women on the first night of The Bachelor, with Lee Kanan receiving the highest rating. Joey has gone on four group dates in the last few weeks, which has forced him to say goodbye to 17 women he didn't feel a connection with. Along with the other two women, some of the women he's associated to are Kelsey Anderson, Maria Jorgas, and Rachel Nance. Joey surfed with Jen Tran and went to a music festival with Daisy Kent. Despite the accusations that he is a people pleaser, Joey doesn't make snap decisions. He appears to be connecting with the women with whom he is most astrologically compatible. Joey was born on May 24, 1995, and is currently 28 years old. As an air sign governed by the planet Mercury, he is a Gemini. Given that Joey seems to be an outdoorsy person who enjoys outside activities on his dates, 
It is not surprising that Geminis are known to be gregarious, gregarious, and fun people. But Geminis are also renowned for their impulsivity and lack of decisiveness. Joey falls in love with at least four women, according to the season 28 trailer for The Bachelor. He is reluctant to sever his relationship with Kelsey A. and Maria, but he feels a deep connection with Daisy. Season 28 of The Bachelor has included 32 women, but Joey seems to have a unique bond with one of them. Joey and Daisy, a 25-year-old account professional from Minnesota, are a wonderful fit because of their similar zodiac signs. Since Daisy is an earth sign, Virgo, she gets along well with air signs like Joey's. Daisy is still trying to win Joey over even in week six, when a lot of other ladies have been sent home. Go to Astro claims that Virgos frequently encourage Geminis to take their ambitions more seriously, which is crucial for a happy relationship. Joey looks like a perfect fit for 25-year-old Louisiana native Kelsey A., her zodiac sign is Aries with a fire element, which is quite compatible with Joey's air element. She works as a junior project manager. This implies that their sexual chemistry and love compatibility will be perfect. They may find it difficult to communicate, though, because Geminis are outgoing people like Joey. Aries, on the other hand, communicates slowly, which might lead to problems in their romantic partnership. Still, this is a small distinction. It will be interesting to watch if season 28 of The Bachelor goes to Kelsey. Andy Dorfman, a recent bride, is frequently questioned about when she and her spouse want to start a family. The former bachelorette opens up about their first attempt at parenthood. Former bachelorette gets married at last. Andy Dorfman was a contestant on season 18 of The Bachelor, when fans of Bachelor Nations first met him. After splitting from Juan Pablo Galavis, she starred in The Bachelor at season 10. She ended her engagement to Nick Vile in a matter of months, having chosen Josh Murray instead. After that, Andy wrote a book titled Single State of Mind, which detailed her adventures in dating in New York City. She got back in touch with Blaine Hart, an old friend, and started dating him in 2021. Andy didn't reveal who he was at first. Early in 2022, the couple got engaged. In May 2023, Andy Dorfman wed Blaine Hart in Italy. Are they going to have children? Andy Dorfman is open about attempting to have his first child. Among the most well-liked baccalaureate alumni is Andy Dorfman. It follows that her admirer's need to be current on her life is understandable. Over the weekend, the reality star conducted a Q and a on her Instagram. A fan asked about Andy and her husband's intended child. They questioned, when do you intend to start a family? In response, Andy said that the pair are trying. She went on to say that getting pregnant is not as easy as she had anticipated. She was honest enough to admit, every month is a complete mind f hashtag asterisk, but trying to stay positive about it all. Reddit users who were fans of Bachelor Nation called out the impolite question. Here are a few quotes from them. The process of attempting to conceive is really exhausting. I can relate to her. Why do people believe it's okay to ask such a harsh question? I detest the phrase, start a family, which implies that there are only children in the world. God, people are so strange on the internet. Isn't it awkward to genuinely pose such a question to strangers on the internet? Please cease inquiring about women's plans to have children or when they intend to do so. Although Andy Dorfman didn't seem to find the inquiry bothersome, it's possible that she thought that if she responded, others would stop inquiring. Andy Dorfman is not the only Bachelor Nation celebrity who struggles with infertility. Recently, Colton Underwood talked candidly about his infertility issues while attempting to conceive with his spouse. Do you concur with Redditors that a woman should not be asked when she is expecting a child? 
Post your thoughts in the comments section. Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and don't miss any updates.